couple of days back, I told you that I'm excited about the upcoming Android phones from Nokia, which were to market come back into the business. One of those phones got launched recently, but to me, it does not look that much exciting. And in this video, I tell you all you need to know about the new Nokia 6, along with my opinions on this new device. It is a phone that we had all been waiting for, but the question is, would it live up to our hopes or not? Well, let's find out. Let me start by telling you this. It is not the same Nokia that we used to know. A Finnish company called HMD Global, which was started by ex-Nokia employees, has got the license to sell Nokia smartphones. It has got the license for Nokia brand name. It is just the name. The company is not the same. And in the course of this video, we'll find out how that is both a good and a bad thing at the same time. But let's first start with the phone's designing here. It's good. The phone packs in an all-metal unibody, which is carved out of Series 6000 aluminium, uh, which you find on an iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. All I hope is that just like an iPhone 6 Plus, this one does not bend. But uh, the phone is a very good looking device. It also packs in a fingerprint scanner right on, on the front inside the home button. And as far as my knowledge goes, this is the first Nokia phone to have biometrics installed. So in terms of looks, the phone is a good looking smartphone. Yet, hardcore Nokia fans might get a little upset. This new phone seems rather ordinary in terms of designing. Let's head to display now. The phone packs in a 5.5 inch full HD IPS display which seamlessly integrates with the phone's designing because it has a 2.5D curved glass protected by Gorilla Glass so it's sturdy as well. So in all, no issues here whatsoever. Coming to the cameras, the phone packs in a 16 megapixel rear and an 8 megapixel front camera which compared to the contemporaries in terms of megapixel counts, fair up very well. Especially the front camera which is 8 megapixel. However, Unlike a traditional Nokia smartphone, they do not have Carl's lens installed. Yet, I am hopeful that the quality would be as good as we have liked in any other Nokia phones in the past. But now let's talk about the sheen of this device, its software. This is the second Nokia phone to run Android, but unlike a Nokia X, this phone runs Android as it should be run, which is akin to stock look and feel. Moreover, the company has provided us with the latest version of Android, Android Nougat which is something that not every other smartphone in the market can boast about. Lastly, the company is also claiming quick updates for their phones, which is not a bad thing at all. Lastly, we talk about storage, battery life and performance. You get 64 GB of expandable storage on the smartphone. You get 3000 mAh of battery on the smartphone. And to power it all, you have a Snapdragon 430 CPU. Uh, one more thing to note is that the phone comes with Dolby Atmos technology, which gives you enhanced sound as well. So that is all you need to know about the Nokia 6 and now it's time for me to give you my quick opinions on the same. Now the price of this device is set to 1699 yuan, which roughly translated into Indian rupees would be around 17,000 and that is not a bad price for someone wanting to buy a pseudo Nokia smartphone. However, there are two things in particular that make it a disappointing smartphone. Number one is of course the processor. Snapdragon 430 CPU is found on a Redmi 3S, which is priced at one third of this Nokia 6. It's an entry level CPU. In fact, due to the CPU limitation, the phone cannot record in 4K. The maximum you can record with this camera is Full HD, 1080 pixels. Now, I was not expecting a Snapdragon 821 CPU on this smartphone, but having a Snapdragon 625 or a 650 CPU on board, which would have made it a much, much better device in my opinion. When you're comparing with the likes of Vivo and Redmi Note 3 and other Chinese brands which are out there, it is a good idea to at least match them in their performance and then do something more. The second major bummer for me, and it might be personal again, is lack of innovation. I've always loved Nokia phones for their innovation. May it be uh, the 40 megapixel camera on Nokia Pureview. May it be the weird designing of Nokia Engage. May it be the indestructibility of Nokia 3310. This phone has none. It does not have one single unique feature that it can boast about. And in my opinion, while it's a very good smartphone, Nokia could have done much, much more with it. In my personal opinion, 
So the long lost king of phones deserves a much better car. As for the availability, the phone goes on sale in the first quarter of 2017 and that too on GD.com. And as of now, it seems it's only a China exclusive device. But do let me know in the comment box below. Would you like to see this device hit more countries? How do you like this phone? Tell me all of that in the box below. And do not forget to like and more importantly, share this video with your friends.